Welcome to Jazz's First Impression Sports Talk. Tonight, I have a good show for you guys regarding NFL, NFL, NFL. So let's get started. Welcome to Jasmine Pollock's First Impression Sports Talk, the fastest growing sports talk show in the country. And now, here's your host, Jasmine Pollock. Welcome back. And before we get started, I want to get into my Pollux points. So let's roll that intro. To start off, my two Pollux points are obviously the Dallas Cowboys and the Buffalo Bills. So let's start with those Cowboys for the first point of the night. The Dallas Cowboys lost to the 49ers yesterday in a wild card game. That wild card game to me was very wild, obviously, and it was very sloppy. I think both teams were very sloppy, but I was very thrilled to see the Dallas Cowboys lose since that is my least favorite team. There was so much hype about them going to the Super Bowl, having a Super Bowl winning team this year, and I just knew it wasn't going to happen. And the 49ers really ruined the fans' chances. There was fans crying. There was fans throwing trash everywhere. It was just really bad for the Cowboys. So Cowboys are going home. 49ers will head to Lambeau to face my Green Bay Packers, which should be a very, very cool game. And I'm really excited for it. The next point I want to make is the Bills beating the Patriots. And I mean, they destroyed the Patriots. I was really shocked. I thought it was going to be a better game than I thought it thought it was going to be. Um, I thought Belichick was going to at least have his team prepared for that. But the Buffalo Bills were just, they just handed it to them. And the Buffalo Bills, to me, There can be a very, very, very scary team if Josh Allen continues to play how they play and he continues to deliver running the ball and throwing because we know he has a strong arm. But that was a sensational game for him. And he only missed four passes and threw for five touchdowns. That is ridiculous. So let's bring in Jeremiah. And Jeremiah, let's start with the Dallas Cowboys. What was your reaction to the Dallas Cowboys in the 49ers game last night? To me... I think it was um, a tale of just two terrible teams at the end of that game. Well, to be honest with you, many people were surprised of how the 49ers did. The 49ers, they came out, you know, and just punched the Cowboys right in the jaw. You know, you'll think of Cowboys, you know, this this season they had, you know, one of the easiest schedule, but at the same time they dominated. They, They blow out a lot of different teams, the Eagles and a lot of people in their division. So coming into this game, you know, a lot of is on their state to get to the NFC Championship or even Super Bowl because it was either going to be Super Bowl or bust. And out of out of like, you know, the gate, the 49ers, their running game, especially with, with Debo, like coming out, the, I'm telling you, the Cowboys couldn't do nothing um, with that. But of course, when it comes to the Cowboys, when it comes to the San Francisco, when you have uh, Jimmy G, you're going to always have, you know, a close and frustrating game, and that's what it came down to. When it came to the end, I felt like the 49ers could put this game away, but with penalties and plus turnovers, you know, it, it was the downfall to them. But for the Cowboys, I put so much, you know, laughter on them, but at the same time, they did this to themselves. With so many penalized um, plays that they had, especially in that first and second half alone, and not to mention, you know, just the dis- disbobulating of just everything of their offense. They they couldn't even get in the red zone many of times until late in the fourth quarter. So when it came to that game, I, th- I felt it was very sloppy. But the 49ers proved to be a better team yesterday. Yeah, for me, like, my biggest takeaway from that game was, like you said, the Dallas Cowboys were the most penalized team in the NFL this season. And they had, I believe, 14 yesterday. And it was it was ridiculous. Both teams, to me, were very sloppy. Both teams were not crisp. Both teams were fighting for their playoff lives. Both of them were. But I felt like Dallas made more mistakes than um, the 49ers. And I think that's what, you know, kind of dictated the game. Um I felt Jimmy G could have game, given the game away many times. They started just kicking field goals. They started just doing little things. 
And Debo Samuel, he put this team – the team was on his back the whole game, I feel. Because Debo Samuel, he's one of those players that you just – you don't find everywhere. So he was very sensational yesterday. But for the Cowboys, I mean, with all the hype, with all the talent, with all the, you know, you know, having hard knocks at the beginning of the season, it just – felt like, you know, to their fans at least and their, you know, their whole organization that they were going to the Super Bowl. But we knew, I knew, Dallas was only a team that plays in a very bad uh, division in the NFC East, very bad division. And then when they play teams that are either equal to them or better, they do not do well. That's just genuinely what they do. Dak Prescott, to me, he is, a, I believe, Dak now, he's a pretty average quarterback. Um not saying he's he's not terrible. He's better than most, but I feel like he's an average quarterback. I don't feel like um, they can go very far with Mike McCarthy. I don't. Um, I know Mike McCarthy was our guy in Green Bay. You see what happened with that. Now people are really seeing what he's about. There's no discipline on the team. There is no kind of motivation or ump about the Cowboys. Zeke Elliott, he's not running how he used to run. It's just all over the place. This team, the team felt like they just did not – deserve to be there they felt like they just felt like they were not motivated and it's like okay now we have to come back in the game that's how it felt most of the time but we want to talk about everyone has been talking about the whole day that last play for the cowboys and the, the you know the ref not go, getting there in time Dak not spiking it just what is your take on that last play so that you know it prevented dallas from you know having a hail mary what did you think about that oh that last play um, well, when it comes to the last play, of course, you got to have three seconds in order to spike the ball. Even if the, the referee got there right in the lick of time, they still would not have enough time to even spike the ball. Now, when it comes to the Cowboys, I know they can try to blame the refs. They can try to do as much as they want to do. But at, at the end of the day, it is on the Cowboys for this loss. Because when it comes to the referee, as Dak knows and as his center knows, you always got to look to the umpire to give him the ball so he can have the placement for you to continue doing the play. Now, when it came to a lot of things that happened before, you guys put yourselves in already that situation because you guys was already out of timeouts or you guys should have went with your bread and butter. You guys should have just kept going, throwing to the outsides and then going straight out of bounds. It wasn't on the 49ers and it wasn't on the refs for you guys to be trying to get to the 25. I understand their 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 logic of do you want to take, you know, a, a Hail Mary from the 45 or you want to take it from, I mean, the 35 or the 25. I'll take it from the 25. But at the same time, you don't even have that much time to even try to take a big risk like that because this is a playoff game. Your, your, your hand shouldn't always come in, in the face of the ref, you know, it's about, you know, putting those efforts forward at the beginning and even from before that, so you even get in that situation in the first place, in my opinion. I definitely agree with that. Um, I feel like, of course, Dallas is going to, and I understand what Mike McCarthy was coming from in that situation as a coach. And I mean, you kind of expected him to say something like that. But like you said before, you have to look at the umpire before the ball is spiked so they can place the ball and you can spike it properly. And I feel like Dallas really got ahead of themselves. I do think they, they've they showed this time and time again. They've shown where they get in a big hole against a very good team, and then they try to come back in the fourth quarter, and it doesn't always work. It, it, you know, it doesn't always work like that. And – Dallas had so much at stake. They were they were the um they were the favorites to win this game. They were. And there was so much at stake. Oh, this Dallas team is dangerous and it just it just didn't happen. And I feel like that falls a lot of this stuff falls on Mike McCarthy because the team was very penalized yesterday. They were making bonehead mistakes that prevented them from getting in positions to win, getting them in positions to um, score and I feel like that falls on him for Dak. Dak has has to play better. He has to play better football. He has to take care of the football. He has to make better decisions. And also with um, Zeke and the running game, their running game was pretty much non-existent yesterday. And you're not going to be able to win playoff games if your running game is not um, is not performing well. It's not going to work. But for Dallas, they're going home. <laughs> um, 
I was rooting for the 49ers, but that that wraps up their season. So I don't know what they're going to do. They're probably going to do the same things next season like they always do. You know, <laughs> it's going to be the same thing until I feel like for Dallas, Jerry Jones has to step out of the picture. He's been doing this for so long of, oh, we're having these high expectations for this team and saying, oh, we're going to do this and we're going to do that. And they don't live up to that and they get ridiculed heavily like they they have been for them losing. I think. He needs to step back, let the coach do his job, let the coaching staff do their job, and let the team perform how they perform. And if they lose, you just stay out of it. That's what, when we look at the Patriots, you look at Robert Kraft. Robert Kraft does the same thing. I give the pieces to Belichick. Belichick handles his business. Allow them to work. Allow them to do what they're supposed to do as coaches. And as general managers and owners, we need to sit back and just let the team and see how the team performs. Jerry Jones does not has not done that, and I think that's what's causing Dallas a lot of issues. Is his inter, his heavy interference in this team? I understand he loves the Cowboys. I understand um, this is his team. He puts these pieces together. I get that, but Dallas will not get back to what they were if he continues to stick his nose and having these high expectations for this team. But that wraps up the first segment. We're going to a quick break, and we're going to head into the Buffalo Bills in the second topic. We'll be right back. Slow roasted over hickory fire and pulled by hand. This is the way pit pork has always been done. Pulled pork lovers, rejoice. The smoky old days are back at the Smoke Shack. From the creative team that brought you the Browning Project and Dead by Morning comes a new thriller that will change the way you look at white collar crime forever. Falling from the sky. You're watching Jasmine Pollock's First Impression Sports Talk. Be sure to join Jasmine every week for great conversation on the NBA, NFL, and a wide variety of sports topics. To see past episodes of First Impression Sports Talk, go to YouTube and search First Impressions Sports Talk. You can connect with Jasmine on LinkedIn by searching Jasmine Pollock. And now, back to more First Impression Sports Talk. Welcome back to Jasmine's First Impression Sports Talk. And to wrap up the night, we're going to talk about the Buffalo Bills. The Buffalo Bills this past weekend destroyed the Patriots. And I mean destroyed them. And it was shocking to me that that happened in that fashion, especially against Belichick in the playoffs. So, Jeremiah, what was your take about the Buffalo Bills destroying the Patriots the way they did? When it came to the to the uh, the Buffalo Bills, man, that team looks very strong right now. Josh Allen, he was in a, such a beast mode like so focused especially from start to finish like how they came out they they were hungry you know having the buffalo bills you know they they had a terrific season i know josh allen had a had a little bit of a of a little like you know a little bad interception a little stinkish a little bit for a little while but he broke out of that and you can just see how far he can go especially with the buffalo bills their their defense was was on ten. They they weren't trying to have like how the Patriots won against them and you know embarrass them, especially in their place. They came out there just with a ven- with a vengeance because they, they are aiming to get to that that to that NFC championship and hopefully to the Super Bowl. You know, and and I feel like when it comes to to the Patriots and everything else that's that's like their team. Um, you know, they, they made it to the playoffs, but at the same time, you know, they wasn't all the way ready. They, they have a great team within, uh, with, within Jones and a plus with Belichick and their other, you know, other receivers and their other additional pieces. But, you know, they're still in, in, in a re- rebuilding, you know, situation. You know, I don't really know, like, both teams because, you know, they're, they're a part of my uh, division with the Dolphins and everything that's like that. But I'm never going to, to disagree when it comes to – how good the, the the Buffalo Bills look, and they, to be honest with you, next week they could even give the the, the Chiefs a run for their money and could even win that game because the Chiefs are very beatable in my book. Just as Jasmine said before, you know the Buffalo Bills they are a very strong team, and I feel like they can go the distance. 
I agree. And for me, um, this is one stat I want to read to everyone. Josh Allen's stats in that game, 308 yards, 21 of 25 and five touchdowns. He only had four missed passes in that game. That is insane. For In a playoff game against Bill Belichick's defense, you put up those numbers. Like, that is very, that's very impressive. It's very impressive. And I felt like even them talking when the um, – the Patriots ran all over them in the beginning of the season. I feel like that left a very, very bad taste in their mouth. And even when they played in Foxborough a couple of weeks, they destroyed them. And then guess what? Now in the playoffs, they destroy them. And I was really, really impressed with the Bills. And I think the Bills can be a, a very dangerous team if Josh Allen continues to play how he is playing. They are a very dangerous team. They have a good enough defense to get after the quarterback and create turnovers. They have a good enough – of course, they have a great offense that can run the ball, that has good, that has a good receiving core, and a quarterback that can get the ball to you. So it's really exciting to see this team. And when they play the Chiefs next week, that's going to be a great game. Like, I really – I'm I'm really excited for that game. That's going to be one of the exciting games of the um, playoffs. And when you look at that, this is a, a rematch of the AFC Championship last year. So we're going to see – if that this Bills team can get over that hump against the Chiefs and beat them. And to me, when looking at the Chiefs this whole season, even though the Chiefs um, beat up the Steelers yesterday, there's still some questions I have about the Chiefs. There's still some things that are a little uneasy. I still think their defense is a little questionable. I still think, I feel like Mahomes is becoming a turnover machine, even though he's still putting up great numbers. He's still throwing a, a a large amount of touchdowns. So it's going to be very interesting to see. So, Jeremiah, for the Bills, do you think the Bills could head to the Super Bowl? Do you think that they are a Super Bowl winning team? A Super Bowl winning team? Um, I would say this is their year to go to the Super Bowl. If this not the year, I don't know what year it is. Because, you know, coming in last year, you know, they're, they're different. No, no, I'm not being coming in last year as they did when it comes when it came to their season they were very you know new to, to this game when it came to um you know they just got Josh Allen in there this is his first playoffs and everything else they have digs and everything and you know they get so far within that AFC championship but then they came a little bit short and I know in back of their minds they said we can get to this next level that we're trying to go to and I totally agree that they can actually make it to the Super Bowl. Going against maybe either the Titans or the Bengals, I feel like they can have a clear shot at being the, the, the top contenders to actually be there in the Super Bowl with, with so much dynamics that they have and just the, the experience now that they have in the back of their shoulder. We're not going to forget when it came to how you just mentioned it before, how they had that game against the Chiefs in that AFC Championship. Diggs, I mean, yeah, Diggs stayed behind to just watch that, uh, the Chiefs celebrate. That, that lives on in their heart, and then they want to have that fire to, to get them to, to the, where they need to go, and I think that's Super Bowl for them. I would agree, too, with that. And I feel like um, when it comes to the – and being that you mentioned with Diggs, I remember that video. I remember that video vividly of him standing there watching that and just feeling that. And they – it was a good game. They didn't get blown out or anything. It was just a hard fought battle on the Chiefs outplayed them and outmanned them in that game. And I feel like now the Bills are catching they're catching steam at the right time. They're getting hot at the right time. It's you know, they they they're coming in, you know, playing very, very good football. And with the Chiefs, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be a huge test for the Chiefs because now the Bills. I believe the Bills are going to be hungry. I believe the Bills are going to be like, listen, you guys beat us. You guys are the talk of the, you know, they still put the Chiefs up there because they're the Chiefs. You have Patrick Mahomes. So they're going to all, they're going to be the, you know, have the upper hand in this game. But the Bills are going to go in there and they're going to play their game. If the, the Bills play their game, they could very much beat the Chiefs. I believe in that 100%. They just have to play their game. Go in there, run the ball how they've been running it. Um Josh Allen plays how he's been playing the past three weeks. It's going to be a very, very serious game for the Chiefs. And I feel like if – and then defensively, I think the Bills have a good enough defense to cause issues for Mahomes because we've seen him, like we said before, turn the ball over a lot this season and do a lot of bonehead mistakes this season. And I don't – I think 
that they're a little suspect this year. This is they're still the same Chiefs team that can score points, like we saw it last night. But it's going to be very different when you're playing a Bills team that can score as just as many points as you can. But for the Bills, I think looking at the AFC, you look at the Titans, you look at the Bengals, and you look at the Chiefs, now you look at the Bills. Josh Allen is a difference maker. I do believe that 100%, as in as so is uh, Mahomes. But if they continue to play like that, and I've seen all these teams – the Bills could very much so go to the Super Bowl, very much so. And I, you know, I will stand on that. <laughs> but um, they have – Josh Allen has to play his game. It all goes – the team goes as far as Josh Allen goes. If he plays like that, this team is going to be very dangerous. It's going to be very hard to beat this team. But that wraps up tonight's show. Thank you, Jeremiah, for always joining and giving your insight on these sports topics. Next week, we have a good one, which is going to preview the AFC and NFC championship games after these, this weekend's divisional round. So I'm very excited about that. We will see you guys here on Jazz's First Impression Sports Talk on Mondays at 845. See you next week. Good night.